Should I even? Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Noah from PhoneDog.com. I don't. I'm just wondering if I should even bother unboxing this one. I mean, I don't think anybody's heard of this phone. Nobody's really, you know, concerned with it. There aren't very many BlackBerry users. There aren't very many Verizon subscribers. I mean, who, nobody really cares about a touchscreen uh, touch BlackBerry phone, right? You know, like, I haven't been getting any questions from readers about how does the screen actually work? Does it actually click down? What's with the SIM card slot? Can I use it, you know, in other places in the country or, I mean, uh, around the world? And, I mean, what, I don't know. Should I even bother taking it out of the bubble wrap or should I just send it back? I guess it's my job. I guess. I guess. Yeah, all right, I'll open it. Let, let's, let's open it up. Let's see what the deal is. With the Blackberry Storm. What's up everybody? I'm as curious as you are. I have never uh, in person seen one of these things. Haven't clicked the screen. Don't know how it works. I mean, I've heard how it works, but I don't know how it works in person. Touchscreen Blackberry, clickable touchscreen. Is it any good? There's really only one way to find out. So, you know, happy early Thanksgiving, and, uh, I mean, Thanksgiving is about more important things than phones. It's about people and relationships and giving thanks for what's important in your life. But, hey, this is fun, too. It's the BlackBerry Storm, the first ever touchscreen BlackBerry from RIM BlackBerry. Uh, they released this phone over in the UK on Vodafone, and this is the US exclusive on Verizon Wireless. And, uh, you know, Verizon going full out. Uh, people are talking about, you know, the iPhone killer, etc., etc., whatever. It's a uh, touchscreen smartphone. They've got some other stuff coming out. Lots of uh, holiday shopping decisions if you're looking for a new smartphone on Verizon. Anyway, inside you've got the Storm, which is officially known as the 9530. Battery, 3.5 millimeter headphone, uh, stereo headset. Travel charger with your different adapters, USB cable, an 8 gig micro SD card. So this phone has 1 gig of uh, internal built-in memory and then it comes with an 8 gig card. I don't want to say iPhone, but you know. Uh, SIM card pre-installed, which is for use overseas if you're roaming. Uh, if you're in the US, this phone is locked to Verizon. Can you unlock it? Can you use it on T-Mobile, AT&T? That's a story for another day. The phone is locked to Verizon. It's a Verizon phone. Documentation kit, including a CD and your VZ Access Manager. Take it out. Here's your box. Your VCast music software, VZ Access Manager software. Here's a little uh, thingy congratulating you on purchasing your 8GB memory card. Buy an 8GB memory card, get a BlackBerry Storm for free. But you have to pay the uh, $199 on contract price. Global support guide if you're going to roam around the globe. Tips, hints, and shortcuts. BlackBerry user tools CD. Ooh. Look, there I am. There I am. What's up? Here's your charger. Micro USB international charger. So, uh, get your charger. Nice little system here. The adapters snap on and off. So, um, let me show you real quick. I'm just going to tease this out until we actually get to the phone, right? Show you everything. So your adapter, you press the button there, snaps off, and then you can snap on your, your other adapters. You can travel to foreign lands. You can uh, spread the joy of phone dog across the world. It's important to meet other people, see other cultures. Go to Barcelona, get some tapas. Go to uh, Belgium, get some mussels. Go to Italy, get some, ah, enough of that, all right. Uh, three and a half millimeter stereo headphone jack, so it's a wired, or a head, stereo headset. Wired headset, it's got the uh, inline remote control microphone thing there. With your uh, standard earbuds with the little foamies. Here's your data cable, micro USB to USB. Here's another uh, travel adapter. Here is a little Verizon wireless flash drive, which I'm assuming is a press kit for me, actually. <laughs> not, uh, not for you. That may not come in your, your actual packaging. I'll check that out. And then some tips 
on how to use the storm. Nah. Manuals? I'll play with the manuals later. Here's the phone itself. We'll take a little protector off. This one's really uh, on there. Jeez Louise. It's like they don't want me to use this phone. It's all big. I can feel the screen clicking. Maybe if I try from up here. There we go. So, 3.2 megapixel camera on the back, autofocus with flash. Here's your headphone jack, rocker switch, shortcut key on the other side, one shortcut key, micro USB port. Here's your touch screen, and it does in fact click. Call hang up buttons, Blackberry menu button, your escape button to go back. We'll turn it on. I know you want to see inside. Oh, it's got these fancy uh, dual battery release cover jobbers. And so there's a uh, SIM card slot. There's your 8 gigabyte memory card. Of course, it's a 3G CDMA phone. You can see right there it says so. 3D, 3G CDMA, and then it's also got the GSM for global roaming. Uh, no Wi-Fi on this phone. It is 3G. So here's the setup wizard. Do you want to learn? Should we learn about the uh, touchscreen navigation and stuff? Nah, I'll do that later. Right now you just want to see how it works. Come back to that later. And so here you go. Here's the main menu of the storm. Just get, can we get a glamour shot here, please? Phone dog, Blackberry Storm. You know where to come. You know where to come to find out. Is it worth it? What's the deal? Phone dog. All right, so here's the storm. You can see it already uh, auto-rotated for me. So, default theme, main menu. Give it a little flip. There we go. Do we need to do a little size comparison here? Everybody wants to know. We'll do that at the end. We'll save the money shot for the end, because I know what you want to know. Um, let's find out, most importantly, what is it like to type on this thing? So let me go back for a second and show you. When you touch something, it reacts. But I'm not clicking the screen, so nothing's happening. So if I actually touch and then click, then you can see I scrolled. And so if I touch and click, I can compose a new message. So we'll compose a new, and then you can go touch, but without clicking, nothing happens. And yes, the whole screen depresses. Oh, all right, I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to set up anything. There we go. I just want to get to the typing. We'll be back, obviously, with more and more on this phone, on the website, videos, phone dog TV live, gadget dog daily, all that stuff. But uh, real quick, let's just find out. So you've got the short type style keyboard here. So we'll click down to the main menu and we will do the old uh, quick brown fox test. That's pretty good. That works quite well with the uh, predictive type, the predictive text short type system. Let's uh, let's clear this out. You can see a little glow around my thumb as I'm typing. That's kind of cute. Let's go sideways and let's try it in a full QWERTY mode here. Alright, so this is the very first time I've used this phone. You can see I typed once. Once, oh, I didn't dot my sentence. There we go. Okay. So one sentence in sure type mode, and uh, same sentence again in full landscape mode. And so far, I like it. 
Uh, I'm being unobject. I mean, <laughs> unobject. I'm being as unobjective as possible. Just my uh, my first impression of the uh, storm screen is I like it. Uh, you could hear as I was typing. You know, you could hear it clicking. You could hear. I thought I almost heard a squeak or something. I don't, it wasn't a squeak, I don't think. But uh, the action was nice. It, um, you know, it's not like a regular keyboard, but it's also not like a regular touchscreen. The actual like pressing down, I think, I think, you know, yeah, I think this might be a winner. Although I did accidentally, uh, now how do I, how do I navigate here to erase something? Oh, I have to click. Okay. Can I click and drag? No. So that might be a little difficult, is figuring out how do I, uh, how do I click exactly where I'm trying to click so I can go back and edit things. This is where the instruction manual probably comes in handy. Um, you know, I messed up in my typing there. For sure, type thus instead of this. But um, you know, there, there's two things I'm thinking here. One is it's just nice to have a landscape QWERTY mode, and it's the device is wide enough that the buttons are pretty big. Second is that the clicking action definitely, you know, it, it's interesting. And again, on first first try here, I definitely like it um, because it, it gives me a little more feedback and feels a little more like regular typing than just typing on a touch screen. Do a comparison in a second with a couple other touchscreen phones.